Spider is a data science focused development environment written in Python. It is free software and is included as part of Anaconda. Spider's interface is similar to MATLAB or R Commander and is the most friendly choice for new users of Python, especially if they have some familiarity with these other languages. The most important limitation of Spider, from the point of view of this course, is that it does not natively support Jupyter Notebook. I have exported the contents of the notebooks used in the course to Python files, and so the entire course can be completed in Spider. The Python files are saved in the Spider subfolders of the directories containing the corresponding notebooks. Start by launching the Spider app. I have an icon on my desktop. If you do not see an icon, you can launch it from the Start menu or your operating system's launcher. The default view of Spider has three panes. The bottom pane on the right side is the console. This is used to run code contained in the editor or by entering code at the prompt. The top right pane shows a tabbed interface. The three tabs are the Variable Explorer, which is empty since we haven't run any code, the File Explorer, which shows the contents of the directory listed in the control bar above, and a Help Viewer. Open the File Explorer tab and navigate to the location of the course content. Drill down into Course, Introduction, and Spider. Double click on demo.py to open it in the editor. This file has been exported from demo.ipynb, which is used to demonstrate VS Code and PyCharm. Spider does not directly support working in Jupyter Notebooks. This file is a plain Python file. The large gray blocks of text are comments that contain markdown when rendered in the Jupyter Notebooks. Spider supports cell mode, which is also known as Magic Python. This mode uses a special combination of characters, hash percent percent, to block a file into distinct code cells. Clicking in a cell shifts the highlight to the current cell. The contents of a cell are run by right-clicking and selecting Run Cell from the menu. This copies the code in the cell into the console at the bottom right and executes it. Moving to the next cell, we can also run the cell by pressing Ctrl and Enter at the same time. Entering this key combination copies the contents of the cell into the console and runs it. This creates the output, which shows the first few rows of a pandas data frame containing the returns of a set of momentum portfolios. The final cell is run in the same way by pressing Ctrl and Enter. This cell simulates a random walk, which is then plotted. The plot appears inline in the output of the console on the right. I can run this cell again. This copies the code to the console again and runs it. This code uses simulated normal random variates, and so the plot is different each time the code in the cell is executed. Running the cell, once again, produces a different plot. Next, click on the variable explorer in the top right. The listed variables have all been created by the code we executed by running the cells. We can double click on a variable to get a more detailed view of a data frame. This detailed view is available for data frames, pandas series, and numpy arrays. Let's create a new file using file, new file. Save this file in the course introduction spider directory as spider lesson two. Let's start by creating two cells using the special combination of characters, hash percent percent. In the first cell, enter import numpy as np. Then on the next line, type np.a range. Double click on a range and press Ctrl and I at the same time. This opens the help for a range in the help viewer. We can resize this window to get a better view. The help lists the function's definition, the parameters that it accepts, the output that it produces, and shows some examples. Return to the editor and finish a range by entering some parentheses and the number 10. Assign the output of this function to the variable x. Finally, enter print parentheses x. Run this cell using either the mouse or by pressing Ctrl and Enter. 
we see that the code appears in the console and produces a set of values between 0 and 9. Finally, save this file. Open the file explorer and locate the file we've been editing. Right click on the file and select run. This executes the entire file in a new console. This is a convenient method to run the entire contents of a complete script. Spider is a capable native Python development environment. It comes packaged with Anaconda and so is already installed on your system. Its feature set is focused on numerical Python and is well suited to new users. It does not, however, directly support running code contained in Jupyter Notebooks. While Spider does not support notebooks, you can convert any notebook to Python code using the Jupyter command from an Anaconda prompt. Run the command Jupyter nbconvert to Python, followed by the notebook name. This will produce notebook.py, which can then be used in Spider or any other editor. Note that you might need to install Jupyter's NB extensions. You can install this in an Anaconda prompt by running the command pip install Jupyter control NB extensions.